Hi everyone, Nicole here with Estes Education. This is part three of our Alpha Rocket Build series. If you need to start at part one, there's a link in the description below. In part three, we'll be working on installing the engine mount and installing the shock cord. Let's get to it. Okay, next up we are going to install the engine mount and then install and prepare the recovery system. So I've got my assembled engine mount from part one, our parachute, shock cord, nose cone, some scrap balsa wood, as well as our other materials, the ruler, hobby knife, pencil, glue, and scissors. So first we're gonna start with the engine mount. So we're gonna put this in the side with the fins, make sure you do that, and then kind of test fit it first. It's gonna go in there and it will go all the way up until that mark we made at three eighths of an inch, should be at the bottom of the body tube, and I'm lining up the engine hook with the launch lug. So kind of test that out, make sure it's ready. And then I'm gonna use some scrap balsa to get glue on the inside of the body tube. And the instructions say we want it to be about an inch and a half in. So I'm just gonna make a mark on this at about an inch and a half so I know how far in to put it. All right, so once we've got our glue in there, we will go ahead and put in the engine mount. And again, just lining that up with the 3 eighths of an inch mark at the end. And then you can let that dry. Okay, so then we want to install the shock cord. So to do that, again, you'll need your instructions and you'll need to cut out this little shock cord mount from the instructions. Okay, so then you're gonna take your little shock cord mount and one end of your shock cord and put some glue on it and put the shock cord at number two and then you're gonna fold the number one over it. Okay, hold that for a second and then same thing, you're gonna put glue on the number three and then fold the number two over. and hold that for a minute until it sets. And as you're holding this, waiting for it to set, it kind of, it helps if you round it a little bit since it's now gonna sit inside of a round body tube. Okay, now once this has set a little bit, we're gonna put it inside the top end of the body tube and we want it to go, the instructions say about an inch and a half in. It needs to be down far enough so that you can fit um, the nose cone inside without bumping into it. So we'll just put a little glue on this and then put it down in. And then you can just hold that till it sets. All right, that was part three. We've only got one more part, so don't leave yet. See you in part four.